A nursery that has placed millions of trees across the Show Me State will celebrate 90 years this year. Thomas Leonard has a look at the humble beginnings and the deep roots planted in our Ozarks. In the early 1930s, the state of Missouri had a forestry problem. It was cutting down more trees for lumber than they were growing. So the U.S. Forestry Service started a tree nursery near Licking, Missouri. And back then, all I grew was shortleaf pine. That was for the reforestation work. Eventually, the ownership was transferred over to the Missouri Department of Conservation, where it was renamed after Missouri's first forester, George O. White. That was really the kind of the heyday of this nursery and other nurseries across the state. Back then, they would allocate approximately 6 million seedlings every year. After several decades of producing only pine trees, the nursery began to expand their operation. Once MDC kind of took it over, then we started expanding the seedlings. Now we grow approximately 70 different uh, species of trees and shrubs here. Growing the trees and shipping them is a complex process. Farmers and tree owners first bring their fruits to the nursery. The seeds are removed from the fruit using a machine that, while it doesn't look like much, takes years to master. I worked on this for at least two or three years before I felt comfortable be that I could do it on my own. Once the seeds are removed from the fruit, they are cleaned and dried, then stored in refrigeration until the right time comes to plant the seeds. This nursery dates back to the CCC days. These canisters date back to that same time period, and we still keep seed in here. The seeds are then planted on 100 acres of land where they will grow until they are around a foot tall. The seedlings are then picked and transported to refrigerated storage. They wait organizing. They come down to us, and we tie them with a zip tie and a tag. And then we send them down to Tom, and he will top tie them. Bundling, then packaging. For those who work at the nursery, growing and distributing the tree seedlings is a labor of love. To me, it's the perfect job. And here you work five months, take care of the winter, you get out in April, then you got the summer to yourself. This is a job for me because I like working with plants in general. And if I didn't have kids and homeschooling, I probably would be working the summertime too. With Missouri's forestry in better shape, the nursery's focus has turned to local municipalities and homeowners looking to grow their own trees. The big thing right now is anything with any kind of fruit or berry on it, folks are wanting to get that for their own consumption. On April 6th, the nursery will be hosting a 90th anniversary event where people can come out and take a 90-minute tour of the facilities and see what it takes to grow the tree seedlings. So they'll get to see the whole thing. The only thing they won't see is the actual planting of the seeds that we do here. For Mike, working here at the nursery is a dream come true. To me, I, I'm a kid, you know, playing here. It's a lot of stress at times. Uh, you know, a lot of things that go on here, we're constantly thinking two years out, but you know, what better way to have an impact on the resources of Missouri? Thomas Leonard for us this morning. All parts of Saturday's event are free, but you need to call in advance just to make those reservations to go on the tours. You can do so by calling the nursery.